Our top story this morning, the Japanese government is set to announce the results of its review into a landmark apology for the country's wartime system of sex slavery. The Abe administration's decision to take another look at the so-called Kono statement has, set, has sent yet another chill down frosty Korea-Japan relations. Yulian reports. Japan's Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary Katsunobu Gatto is set to announce the result of a review on the Kono Statement Friday at a House of Representatives Budget Committee meeting. The statement was issued back in 1993 by then Chief Cabinet Secretary Yohei Kono and acknowledged for the very first time the Japanese Imperial Army had forced women, euphemistically called comfort women, into sexual slavery during World War II. In February, Japan said it would re-examine the statement, drawing strong criticism from Korea, who slammed the neighboring country for its continued efforts to deny its historical wrongdoings. Speculation on the result of the review are running high, with concerns that Tokyo may try to revise or backtrack on the statement, given that Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe had said in the past that he did not believe women were coerced to work in military brothels. Japanese media reported earlier this week that the review will say the exact wording of the Kono statement was influenced by Korean bargaining. Seoul said it stands ready to counter the results of the examination and emphasized that the statement was made on Japan's own accord. Yudian, Arirang News.